test. This is a test. Welcome to Project Leo. My name is Heather and this is Axel. Hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Today we bring you the amazing story of an intergenerational family in Calgary, Alberta, building one of the most amazing green homes that we've seen on Green Energy Futures. Heather and Axel Sorensen are part of a new breed of home builders. Their company, Homes by Sorensen, was started in 2015 in Calgary, Alberta. Their focus? Almost entirely on building high-performance homes. I'm Axel Sorensen. And I'm Heather Sorensen. We're the owner-operators of Homes by Sorensen. Well, we are a husband-wife team, and uh, our backgrounds are completely different in nature, which, uh, no, that wasn't that great. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> How, did we get started? How did we get started? He made me know, like, we got started. How we got started was that you've been in construction since the day you got out of university, or yeah. the week, and then you were doing home renovations for many years, decided it was time to start home building, and somewhere in there convinced me to quit my corporate job and join. <laughs> we were also very passionate about uh, um, building energy efficient homes, homes that were kind of homes of the future, kind of getting a, uh, uh, ahead of the curve, so to speak. We definitely gravitated to building net zero homes. Net zero homes are homes that uh, produce as much energy as they use on a yearly basis, and that was exactly what we were looking to build. And despite being ahead of the market curve, the Sorensons have carved out an enviable niche building net zero homes. Today, they're wrapping up work on one of the coolest projects ever. Right now, we are in the Leo Passive House. Project Leo. Yes, and this is a custom project. Um, we were approached by our clients to build this house for them and they wanted to uh, um, achieve the passive house standard with their house. Um, so in the energy efficiency world, uh, passive homes are the upper echelon. They are the, uh, um, the top tier of high energy, high performance homes. This is a very special home. The clients, Heather and her son Glenn and wife Emily, sought out the Sorensons, who specialize in net zero homes, to build a multi-generational, dual suite home that's as green as it could be. Very into it. They're very, very um, earth focused. They wanted to explore the impact, their, their carbon footprint on the production of this home. They wanted to know, um, they're, they're just they wanted to know every detail and how they could be a part of the solution towards global warming. They wanted their dream home to be built to the passive house standard and for it to be net zero energy. Together, the Sorensons and the client worked to build the most affordable passive house that money can buy. A passive house is anywhere from 80 to 90 percent more energy efficient. And this house here as well is a net zero house, which means that it's producing as much energy as it uses on an annual basis. And we're doing that with uh, our 15 kilowatt solar array here uh, by Skyfire Energy. To be more than five times more efficient than a cold built home, this home is completely wrapped with high levels of insulation. Right here you can see exactly how thick these walls are here. So uh, what we have here is a 12-inch double-studded wall with dense pack cellulose. Past that we have another 2x4 wall with uh, a bad insulation for a total of R50. Almost no heat is lost through super insulated walls. Insulation forms an unbroken jacket from basement floor to the roof. In our basement slab we have an R30 uh, floor assembly down there. And in our uh, basement uh, foundation, we have an R50. And when we move to our above grade wall assembly, we have another R50 there. And then up in our attic space here, we're, we have an R80 loose fill cellulose. No hot air gets in in the hot summers. And no cold air gets in in the long, cold winters of Calgary, Alberta, where temperatures can reach minus 40 Celsius. OK. Come with me, I have to show you these windows. These are local in a tech, passive house certified, triple pane, ultra efficient windows. They are tilt and turn. OK, 
Okay, so check that out. Ooh, there we go. And then I'm gonna show you. Oh no, I'm gonna do this. Here's how they open. You're gonna see here how thick our wall assembly is. These are incredible. This, this wall assembly is so beefed up and so incredible. You get these major um, windows showing you no heat's going out, no cold's coming in. There is just so, this building envelope is remarkable. One of the key elements of these super insulated homes is air tightness. The day we were there, Cooper Lee was doing a blower door test to check just how airtight this home is. It is a good number, it's quite good actually. The code prescribed value of a new home now is 2.5. You want that number to be lower, so this is about 20% of what a new home would be. Incredibly, this large passive house is so efficient, it has no furnace. And since the home is so tight, it has a heat recovery ventilator that provides plenty of fresh air. So here's exactly how this works here. So this air is our HRV, our heat recovery ventilator. This thing is up to 85% efficient. That means that it is recovering 85% of the heat that it is trying to expel out, uh, which is extremely energy efficient. The HRV actually has a little electric heater at the intake to preheat air on the coldest days of the year. This system is also connected to the heat pump water heater to get more heat when it's needed. So on the coldest of days in the winter, that needs a little extra boost here, uh, we will send that 450% efficient hot water uh, through this hydronic coil and the, hot air, or the, the supply air will blow over top of it and supplying our house with hot air. This passive house requires 80 to 90% less energy to heat it, thanks to insulation and the efficiency of the mechanical systems. And another important piece to our high production homes, whether it's net zero energy or passive energy, is the appliances we select. They must be energy efficient. My personal favorite is the induction cooktop. This baby heats up only what is touching it. The pot or the pan that is touching it is the only space that is heated, making it two times more efficient than your standard cooktop. And yeah, it just heats quick, it cools quick, and it's also very safe so that you don't, you don't burn yourself. All of the appliances in this home are very efficient, but the induction stove is also one of our favorites. What we found is that our net zero homes are costing anywhere from 50 to $60,000 extra. Uh, and with the amount of solar that we are producing off these homes, your energy bills are decreased enough that the payback period for these homes is anywhere from 10 to 13 years. And that is extremely good. This means the savings more than cover the additional mortgage required to build efficiently. And it's not long before the home is paying your utility bills. The Sorensons work very closely with the client, incorporating a little do-it-yourself into the home to give it a homey feel and to save money. This passive house is actually two homes in one. We actually do have two clients with this property. It's very unique in that it's a passive home, but it's also, also a multi-generational home where it is a single family suited home. So we have a front unit and a back unit. The front unit is a raised bungalow, um, specifically designed for an age in place set up for Heather, our client. Heather is a retired lawyer or moving into retirement and she lives in the front unit. Glenn and Emily, Glenn is her son, Emily, um, her daughter-in-law live in the back unit. Both suites have a stunning combined kitchen living room and the two suites share a common mechanical room. This right here is the shared mechanical, shared storage, shared laundry and our connecting room to connect the two homes together. If you don't want to go outside, you want to go through. Building a passive home, building a green home was not even, they weren't even a little bit interested. It was a non-negotiable for them. They wanted a builder that was going to build a home of the future, that was going to be like-minded in their goals towards uh, global warming, towards um, managing the carbon footprint during production of this home. They were so involved. Turning over this home to them in a few weeks is going to probably be one of our most emotional um, uh, possessions. This project enlisted a passive house home designer, and it was so innovative that it also attracted funding from the Smart Sustainable Resilient Infrastructure Association. 
Well, aside from our homeowners that we worked with here, uh, we also worked with uh, um, our passive house planner who did all the modeling for this passive home. That was Kevin Brown at Nickel Design. As well, uh, this house uh, was uh, granted funding from the SSRIA. That's the Smart Sustainable Resilient Infrastructure Association. The Project Leo Passive House is an infill project in Calgary, Alberta. But despite the large size of this multi-generational home, the front facade was designed to fit right into this older neighbourhood. As we were wrapping up our shoot at Project Leo, neighbours paused at the front doors and asked who the builder was. She and her husband wanted to do the same thing. Our thanks to Heather and Axel for spending an entire day with us so we could really give you the lowdown on the anatomy of this passive house, the home of the future. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. You notice the vintage candles, the vintage credenza. We worked very closely with them, finding refurbished pieces and really pulling together a distinct vibe.